can't begin to tell you how cold it is out here. But he's happy. There he goes. He's off running. All right, we got lots more hiking to do. But it's uh, pretty nice up here. Okay, the rig is packed and we are ready to go. In our previous video, we showed you some make-ahead meals that uh, we prepared for uh, the camping trip that we're about to head off on. And, and I'm pretty excited because when I get there, I'm not going to have to work that hard. Uh, now we're heading uh, to the Lake Michigan shoreline in the Lower Peninsula of Michigan. We have two awesome parks that we want to check out in the wintertime. Now they got a lot of snow on the ground. In fact, there's a lot of snow on the roads. So we're heading up right now and we're gonna bring you with us through this video. And uh, you get to see some of that food that we made in the last video. Uh, it'll come in pretty handy out in the cold. <laughs> so here we go. morning temperature is nine degrees above zero and there's a little snow coming down uh, that is our RV can you see it over there right there we are the only people that are camped here at the Ludington State Park on the shores of Lake Michigan these are actually sand dunes that I'm on that have kind of grown up over the years with some trees on them but originally they were sand dunes and uh, this is a, a great park, one of the most popular parks in the summertime. Uh, but it's also open in the winter. There's no running water. There is electricity. And uh, that's our spot. We came in last night and uh, we're gonna hike today. Uh, just peaceful, quiet, beautiful. We love winter camping, even when it's nine degrees. Well, it hasn't gotten above nine degrees and uh, we're out taking a hike. It's absolutely beautiful. And the highlight of our day, I know, is gonna be having a nice bowl of that warm soup when we get back to our nice warm RV. There's a bunch of wooden steps that lead the top of one of the dunes. They call this the Skyline Trail. A little bit of mountain climbing, huh? That's one way to warm up, but it's beautiful. Now, my dog Bo is way up at the top waiting for us. We normally would have him on a leash, but there's nobody here, so he's running free, but he doesn't go too far from us. I can see why they call it the Skyline Trail, because we are up uh, the top of the tree level here. It's, uh, it's a pretty good hike. Uh, here's one of the views from the Skyline Trail now. I don't know if you can see it in the kind of the snow flurry, but see that darker gray? Let me zoom in. Right out there. That, my friends, is Lake Michigan. And these are some of the sand dunes that have, uh, over the eras, had uh, trees grow up on. Wow, that's pretty, isn't it? Very pretty.
say Bo is in his element. Oh, Bo was made for this place. All right, Mike, your soup is ready, nice and warm. There you go. All right. It's cold out there, so nothing like this soup. Warm you up. Thanks for making that. We're at the Platte River Campground near the Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes, where you have to bring your own food in because you're isolated from everything. And this is one of the nicest things about winter camping at Platte River. The bathrooms, they're heated. And there's even more. Around the back, so are the showers. And there are two of them. Ah, toasty warm. Now, Chris, having a nice warm shower is nice because in the winter time, uh, the RV is winterized, that means the plumbing uh, system has antifreeze to it, so you can't have uh, that to use, there's no running water. And uh, most campgrounds in the winter shut off all their water, so having this as a shower is great. Uh, but there's also this, this is a camp sink, and that is really nice that that's open and warm, because uh, when you fix uh, dinner, you want to wash your, your dishes, and... Uh, Here's a nice little area that's heated <laughs> where you can wash your dishes with hot water. That's very rare to find in the winter. And this is why we love winter camping, because we can get in here. <laughs> Normally, you cannot get into these campgrounds that we've been to the last couple of days. They're just jammed and packed because they're so beautiful. This is absolutely lovely. You know, every time we do one of these and you show us out here all bundled up and walking, people say, oh, it's not for me, it's not for me. And, and we understand there's some people that don't like cold weather, but gosh, uh, this honestly, I think, is our favorite camping, don't you think? Yes, definitely. And I know it's Bo's favorite camping. Yeah, if you want to see Bo, he's, he's right over here, wandering in the, in the deep forest. Now, you know, dogs should be on a leash, but <laughs> we're, the we're the only, only people here. here. Uh, we do keep them close, because we did hear, we went for a walk after dark, and there was no moon last night. It was really dark. And uh, he, uh, we heard coyotes, pack of coyotes. Yeah, but we hear those at home, too, at night. We don't let them go out to the yard if it's dark. He has, we go with them when he's on a little leash. But up here, they also have wolves, and uh, they also have a cougar. In fact, one of the National Park Service rangers a while back was on a, you know, checking the, her trails up on the lakeshore, and she was stalked by a cougar. So, uh, so you want to be careful in the woods, and uh, it's not anything yet, you know, it's not like out west, but uh, you are in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to see our site, let's see, we're we're back right there. See us? See that spot? Isn't that great? We slept so well last night. I slept almost till eight o'clock in the morning and I'm usually <laughs> up at 5.30. Yeah, you never sleep that late. <laughs> I think for the secret was uh, Bo accepted that he wasn't gonna sleep with us. Yep, but he's happy. There he goes. He's having a good time. He's off running. All right, we got lots more hiking to do, but um, it's pretty nice up here. I can't begin to tell you how cold it is out here. Oh, this is beautiful.
Okay, the first thing that the person who started this huge successful business did was uh, a t-shirt that said, Life, Liberty, Beaches, and Pie. After the t-shirts, he made this, this cookie that he sold out of his car, and it became very successful. And that's how he began his empire. <laughs> we didn't buy all of our food ahead of time. We had to buy something from the Cherry Republic, so we bought a cherry pie. And it was even warm when I carried it out of the store. Still warm, fresh from the oven. Well, all good things come to an end, and uh, it's time for us to uh, leave the beauty of the Lake Michigan shoreline in wintertime. Oh, I'd like to stay a couple more days, especially since we found that nice warm shower place. Yeah, it was great. Uh, we will have an accompanying post to this video on our RV Lifestyle channel the blog page, which is rvlifestyle.com. And of course, we'll have more information in the description below. Uh, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, please subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. When you do that, click the bell icon, then you'll get notified when we have new videos online. Sounds good to me. Happy trails! Bye-bye!